Welcome back, it's your boo's favorite chef, Chef Andrea. Let's make some fish and grits. So first let's start by our, our, with our vegetables. Make sure you're washing off your vegetables, make sure you're removing those stickers, getting any little critters or any little stains that's on there, let's get them things gone. We don't need them, we don't wanna eat them. All right, we're gonna start by chopping our bell peppers. And as you see, I'm chopping with my Dow Strong knife. This right here is a beautiful knife I love very much. Look at those squares. Yeah, some nice dice. Nice dices. We'll set that off to the side and we'll go right into our green. Same thing here. We're gonna go in and dice. Nice squares. And when you're cutting, make sure you tuck in those fingers. Eagle's claw. I think that'll save you a couple fingers. Next, we're gonna go into our green onion. We're gonna cut off that end. We don't need that. We don't eat that. Now this fish and grits isn't your average. This is a Cajun fish and grits with a lobster cream sauce. Now that we got our vegetables chopped up, let's start making our grits. Let's get our flame going for our grits. We're gonna start off with one cup of chicken broth and a cup of heavy cream, equal parts. We'll wait for that to boil and then we'll add our grits. We're gonna turn our pot down just a little bit and make sure you keep an eye on it because if you know cook it with milk or heavy cream or any type of cream like that, it will overflow on you. We got a good boil going. We're gonna go ahead and add in our grits. Now, y'all know how I do. I'm just the, to the ancestors tell me stop. But the proper measurements is two to one. So whether you're cooking grits, rice, quinoa, two cups of your liquid to one cup of your grain. All right, so make sure you Whisk that in, constantly whisk so we don't, so we avoid any clumps. We're gonna turn that down and we're gonna put the top on it. While that's going, we're gonna get started on making our fish. Dropping our butter in. This is gonna be a grilled fish. I know a lot of y'all probably thought it was gonna be fried fish, but we're gonna do something a little different. We're doing the grilled fish. Because it's fish, you know, it could, it could stick to any cold surface. So we want to make sure we have that pan nice and hot. And you know, seafood don't take long to cook. So as you can see right now, I'm using my Kinder's, the seafood blend. One of my favorite seasonings out there. I put this on everything. Not just the seafood blend though. They make all different kinds. If you ain't got Kinder's in your life, go ahead and get that. I'm seasoning two pieces of fish right now, but we only gonna need one. All right. I like my little extra seasoning. Let's take it on over. Our butter is nice and melted. Let's get that fish going in there face down. Now, as I said before, fish doesn't take long to cook. So we want to cook it probably on about a minute and a half each side. A minute to two minutes each side, depending on how hot that pan is. All right, we're going to add some butter into those grits, some pepper. Our Cajun seasoning and Parmesan cheese. Well, whisk that together. If your grits happen to get a little too thick, always add the rest of that chicken broth that we had in there. That's the consistency you want on a Parmesan grit. We're gonna go ahead and go in with our vegetables. Oh, that smells good. Oh yeah. We're gonna let this cook down for about a minute or so. And then we're gonna add some garlic. About a half a tablespoon of garlic. We're gonna saute that so it becomes fragrant. After about a minute or so of that, we're gonna go in with our tomato paste. Let's get that mixed in there real good. 
Yeah, we're going to keep mixing that in until all those veggies are coated with that tomato paste. Next, we're going in with heavy cream. That's the good stuff right there. And as you already know, we're gonna go ahead and bring that to a boil. We're gonna zap this with that Zatarain's Creole seasoning. Same thing we zap the, the grits with, the Parmesan grits. Let's go in. Yeah, there we go. You can see it's starting to thicken up. Gonna continue to let that reduce down. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna go in with our lobster meat. That big claw, we're gonna save that for that money shot. Add a little parsley. Oh, look at that. That is looking fabulous. Now make sure you go back and taste your cream sauce. You want it to taste right before you put it on that plate. You might need to add a little bit more seasoning. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and cut her off. It's time to plate. Hey, if you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest episodes, cooking shows, tutorials, and you never know what surprises I might slide in there as well, all right? Back to the show. All right, we're gonna go in grits first. Oh, look at that. Nice, nice. I'm gonna shake that bowl out so we can get it coated all over the surface. All right, we're gonna go in with some sauce on the bottom. Ooh. Guys, this smells delicious. Wanna go right on top with our fish. Wanna go in with a little bit more sauce, but we wanna get those lumps of lobster meat right on there. Oh yeah. This is drowned in there. As promised, we're gonna go ahead and add our Big Daddy Lobster Claw. And a little bit more parsley on top. Just cause it's the money shot. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the grilled fish with a Creole lobster topping over Parmesan grits. Not your average fish and grits. I think that's what we're gonna call it. I think we got a name. Not your average fish and grits. Now let's see what it's tasting like. Oh wow, I don't even know how to start to get up in here. Got me a piece of lobster, got a piece of fish, and some grits. Fire. Oh yeah. Not your average fish and grits. Now go on. Take this for myself. This is good. This is good. Two bite checkup. If you ever served tables or been in a restaurant industry, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 